A brand new character for Halo Infinite has been leaked. Who are they and what is the significance of them within Halo Infinite? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So a new Halo Infinite leak has just come out for us guys and I wanted to share it with you all. This time it reveals a new Spartan called Spartan Aster. So in this video I wanted to go over some details about that Spartan and see if there's any information online and how exactly they could tie into Halo Infinite. And how this isn't the first time we've seen new characters leak for the game as well. So if you like these news and informational videos make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this and it really helps out the video and channel guys. Well stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as it ramp up to the release of of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So I know it's starting to become a bit of a meme, but it's information I wanna share with you guys because this is a Halo Infinite character and this is a reveal from the toys. Where else would you get them from? This is from a Halo Universe set that we have from Mega Constructs. They have various Spartans and characters from throughout the franchise of Halo. The one we wanna focus on in particular here is Spartan Aster right over here, sporting the silver commando along with some purple armor and a unique helmet we haven't really seen yet. Now it's unclear right now if this Aster is the name of the armor set that they're wearing or if this is an actual character. We've had Mega Constructs leak characters previously as well. I think this actually might be the name of the character here because we see another Spartan which is a Mark V CE Spartan. You'd think they just call it like a Mark VII Spartan right here, but no, it's specifically Aster for Halo Infinite. And this isn't the first time, like I said earlier, that we've seen a reveal of a character within these Mega Constructs leaks. We've had the reveal of Spartan Griffin here, who actually does look very familiar when it comes to the purple armor set as well, but obviously with a little bit different coloring here. But we do know that Spartan Griffin is going to be in the game, at least from the voice actor himself himself said this so I, i'll be spartan griffin and um <laughs> how did unless... you, how did this not come up at any point this is awesome dude well i mean hopefully they, they may who knows they may have added me out of the game i mean it's not released yet so i don't know so it's not exactly clear how spartan griffin will play a role within the story of halo infinite but we do know that the voice actor has done work for the game itself and if they're going to be making toys of spartan griffin you think they'd probably play a part within the story so that's why when we see the name spartan aster i think again this is going to be an actual character within halo infinite that we do know that this is going to be a chief focus story so how much and how often we'll see these other Spartans maybe or could be part of the multiplayer story element that we will be having with Halo Infinite with the seasonal stories. Another character we might see within the story elements of the multiplayer side of things is Spartan Naomi. The reason why I bring Spartan Naomi up is because she was modeled character within the official cosplay that was revealed to us back in July. Playing this Mark 7 iteration such as the example seen worn by Spartan Naomi 010 as well as the Gen 2 Decimator suit. Here's the Halopedia page of Spartan Naomi as well. I actually brought up the point that she was part of Kilo 5, which Kilo 5 had their own trilogy of books, which is very interesting. I've gotten actually a lot of questions about Kilo 5 when it comes to my questionnaires that I like to do on the channel, but I just haven't really read these books, so I couldn't really mention anything about them. So we could see somebody from Kilo 5 involved with Halo Infinite, which would be pretty cool. So like I said earlier, I think there's going to be actually a bit of a story element when it comes comes to the multiplayer side of things of Halo Infinite, that's where I think these other Spartans will come in. Because we already know that Spartan Lorette, who is going to be kind of like the overseer of you becoming a trained Spartan within the Academy. And so I think there's going to be some multiplayer storytelling that we've seen previously from other games out there as well that do the same thing. I think this is going to be kind of like how the spirit of Spartan Ops will continue on within Halo Infinite. We're going to be seeing these seasonal content drops and along with the content drops and it will have a little bit of a lore tie in with it that kind of give you some reasons why some things are changing within the game. We see this done with Fortnite, with Apex Legends and Warzone for Call of Duty. So why not the same thing for Halo Infinite? Halo has a deep, rich lore and a lot of story to be told within a franchise of Halo. So why not dive a little bit more into that? There's a line here within the June update from Halo Infinite that makes me think that there's going to be continual storytelling more than just like new weapons and armor sets coming for each season. Saying, I can share that we picked Heroes of Reach, which is going to be the first season of Halo Infinite, 
as a seasonal theme for very specific reasons. Reach has a rich history, is a key location for Spartans old, and a focal point for a new generation of Spartans preparing to wrestle with the perils and mysteries of a galaxy that has fundamentally changed after the events of Halo 5. And this linked text right here takes you right to the Halopedia page for the planet Reach, which all of this makes me believe that there's going to be much more of a story element being told within the multiplayer seasons more than just kind of content stuff. This is kind of like maybe might be the spirit of Spartan Ops coming back through Halo Infinite. Because in Halo 4, Spartan Ops was an amazing idea. The story is actually really well done. The only issue with Spartan Ops was the gameplay was very average at best. But could we get some Spartan Ops level storytelling within the multiplayer of Halo Infinite? I think that's rather likely. Now, how often 343 will like jump between different types of stories with their new seasons is up for interpretation. Maybe the first season is reached, second season is like all Halo 2 or something like that. There's a a lot of things that 343 could do with these seasonal themes. So of course we could just see all these Spartans within the story and campaign of Halo Infinite, but we do know it's a chief focus story, which makes me think that we're gonna call back to the original feels of CE of you being the only Spartan and the most powerful character within the room. So I don't expect to see much in the way of other Spartans, at least when the, the storytelling, but there's gonna be Spartans all over the place when it comes to the multiplayer storytelling. Either way, Halo Infinite set itself up to be a very interesting group of characters and story to be played for us guys. And of course, the more information that we get to know about this game, obviously I will share it on this channel. So if you guys like these news and informational videos, check out this link right here. I got a playlist to all my news and informational videos who've been on loop for the last few days or so from our daily uploads. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.